Now this is what I like to see. Free potions for members of Breath Over Death. Oh, I love it. The living sticking together and giving out some support to help a buddy in need. This is for my buddy Impulse. I think he came and visited everybody and put these, sprinkled these all around the server here. But, but Impulse, I don't know about your, uh, I don't know about your stew here, though. It's awfully suspicious looking. Your stew is suspect, Impulse. It's suspicious. I don't like it. But, of course, we're going to try it anyway. Oh, crap, I'm not hungry. There we go. Suspicious stew down the hatch. Ho! Oh. Oh, what'd I get? What'd I get? <laughs> Am I dying? I think I'm dying. Oh no. More dead people flying around my base. What is this guy? What is he doing? <laughs> what? Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? I want no dead people flying around my base. You! <laughs> dead person. You suspect. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want? What does he want? Look at him all dead. All dead and everything. What am I up to? Uh, I'm up to... Being cautious of you. What are you doing? Snooping around my base. I smelled flash. Mmm, flash. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. We are looking over at the blue and purple spiral of doom that we did last episode. We built all this out and we put all the little lights on and everything. And I gotta say, guys, the feedback you guys gave me was fantastic. I really appreciated it. Some of you liked the dangly lights. Some of you absolutely hated them. Some of you said they were horrible. And I get that. I'm, I, I'm a little mixed on them as well. So what I think I want to do is kind of shorten up some of them. I think the problem is just that they're too long. Like some of them are just way too long. And I did that. I mean, you remember I explained because to stop spawn and stuff. But I don't care. If a few mobs spawn on them in the nighttime, that's fine. I want this to look good. So I think it's just they're too dangly and they're too long. So I'm going to shorten those up. But the other feedback I asked for was about the top. And it was about, should we put dragons up there or snakes or whatnot? There were some ideas. Someone even tweeted me a picture of putting some bananas up there, which I thought was pretty comical. Not to lie, I almost considered doing it. But, but we're actually going to go with dragons, I think, today. Uh, and this is going to be, I'm doing it because this is going to be a very challenging build for me. Now, I have never built any kind of creature, any kind of organic anything in this game before that I can think of, not with any serious attempt. So this is going to be very challenging. We're going to get a blue dragon head pointing one way and a purple dragon head pointing the other way. Hmm, all right, so I'm just getting started on what was going to be a time lapse here of me building this first dragon head. And then Cub sends a message and says, hey, any hermits want to come see me do crazy, stupid stuff? Head over to Hermitland now. Apparently, he's going to do some kind of, like, stunt. He's got he's got a triple stunt extravaganza. You know, you know, Cub. He's got a death wish. So, we're going to head over and check it out. Stinky dead person. Yeah, there's gonna 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 ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, dead person. Not cool. <laughs> hold on. Hold on one second. Is it Hello? Did you see my pecs? <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're very grey, very lifeless. Dead rotting <laughs> pecs. <laughs> oh. Looks like bones come out, man. Looks yeah. like you might want to get that checked like out or my something. Six pack. See a doctor or something. I don't know. It's yeah. it's a pixel pack, is what it is. <laughs> Tango, my friend, thank you for showing up to this oh. uh, this glorious day. I my appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. My uh, pleasure. Other team. Oh. Uh, I was hoping well, that you guys wouldn't show, but man, you're here anyway. Dead people, I know. What are, what, are, what are we chopped liver over here? We don't get any respect. We show up, we're supporting. We got sweet berries for everyone. Those supporting, are huh? You're mm -hmm. You're supposed to make a look through this, uh huh? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cubby, Cubby, Team I Breath see. Over Death, man. What are you doing? You're My friend, gonna... this this is going to be the glorious, the most glorious hour of Team Breath. Over I Death. see. I see. All right then, I'm on board. We're going to prove once and for all <laughs> that death does not control us. We That's control right. death. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, this first stunt we're going to perform, or I'm going to perform. You guys can perform it too if you want to, but I, it's not recommended. I mean, so, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, you know? Yeah, I, I is... died recently. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're good? <laughs> You're good? Had enough, had enough for now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this first stunt, this is the first stunt right here. This big, giant pool of lava over here. And what's going to happen 
I'm going to jump from world height onto an explosive slime block pad. And I have to hit five consecutive pads across the lava to uh, eventually complete this challenge. Alrighty. That is, I, that I is like the goal. this. This is a really good idea, Cub. I think I think you made a good decision. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think I think so. Honestly, I think I think this is going to work out quite well for me. So uh, I'm going to head up that giant tower there, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to hopefully complete this. Show you guys that Team Breath Over Death is indeed the superior team. <laughs> we should make his crypt now. Well, he's like, yeah, um, we'll get we'll get on building that. What what are you guys talking I'll about? I'm gonna survive this. I'll all show right, you. all right, I'll show you. Uh, let's see what you got, you bouncing, exploding fool. Okay, but so we're literally just throwing two in each, right? <laughs> I suppose. Okay. I mean, the odds I'm getting on this. I Mark also don't know what I'm betting on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got <laughs> just I got two diamonds that says my my good buddy Cubby makes it. Okay, I'm putting two diamonds on him dying then. Okay. <laughs> And then Scar, whatever way you put it, like the stack will get split up between the two that win, right? I bet. You know what? It's the Concorp difference. I think he's going to win this one. Oh, okay, wow. okay. Faith, faith. Right, I'll, I'll hold on to these. Wait, wait what? <laughs> Who made it's you fine. the mediator? I, I decided to be, you know? All right, Otherwise, right. there'd be this big old argument about who'd hold oh. on to those. What are we holding on to again? Oh, oh 10 seconds. Okay. Cup, we're ready. Here we go, here we go, riding dead people. <laughs> We don't smell, do we? I did. That, on well, video, I'll just stand over here. You know, you guys do your own thing. It was a courtesy to you. He is so high up there. He is. <laughs> I can't even see him yet. This is going to be spectacular. This has been more than 10 seconds. It has. It has been more than 10 seconds. I'm using FOV to zoom in even further. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, here he goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God. He's amazing. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! No! Oh, wait, does he that ran out of oomph! Whoa! <laughs> he, he's technically survived. I think so. <laughs> Question is... That was amazing. How's he gonna get... There's a skeleton over here. Oh, a skeleton's like gonna plug him right in. I was thinking the same P thing. PvP! <laughs> not PvP allowed. is not allowed. It's not but... allowed, but... Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just won myself some diamonds. Oh, you cruel, cruel man. <laughs> oh, God, wow. Who would have thought? He is. <laughs> 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 He's not going to be happy. Nope. <laughs> not going to be happy at all. <laughs> He's oh, like, man, man, I set up these two other things for nothing now. <laughs> and the skeleton. He can still the do skeleton. them. The skeleton. The <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> You've been demised, my friend. Oh, oh no. Well done. Well done at the end there. Soon we'll lure in that skeleton. Oh. I <laughs> oh, I got you good. I had the same idea, but I was, you know, I was going to keep my buddy alive, but. Man, that yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. I just lost two diamonds, Cub. You just lost two diamonds? <laughs> I did oh, too. too bad. I did too. Bad. Too bad. Man, I, I thought I could make it. What, did it look cool at least? Did it it was amazing. Cool? I am, yeah, I am yeah, 110% impressed. That was incredible. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I was are totally we going to see the other challenges? Now that you're dead, you can keep on dying. You know, you know uh, free. I was expecting not to die on this, on this one, but... Uh, Obviously, it didn't turn out well. Yeah, well, there was a little outside was, influence uh, there. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess we could do. I guess we could do the other the other challenges too, just to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. All right, let's do them. Let's do them. Cubby, Cubby. Welcome to the no. team. I like it. No. This is a good look for you. Nay, nay, I say no. <laughs> Dislike. <laughs> you got like, You're outnumbered, man. Oh, there's just so much stink going on around here now. Look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, after my unexpected demise on the first one, well, well, now we have a ring of fire. Burn, burn, burn in the ring. That ring of fire. <laughs> the ring of fire. All right. So, uh, it turns out if you go down, down, down here, the, the flames do indeed go higher. But uh, basically, this challenge, I'm going to start ascending now. 
This challenge is the Ring of Fire challenge. Basically, I will shoot a flaming arrow down onto the TNT stack you see below this scaffolding. <laughs> yep. Causing me to fall, and I have a splash to a splash potion of the Turtle Master with me. And Ooh. if I can, at the exact right moment, splash myself before hitting the ground, I will survive. That is the second <laughs> challenge. All righty. By the way, Tango, you may want to back up a little bit. This is no, not I'm getting safety. I'm getting a prime okay. spot for okay. this one. All right, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. That's the real question. Oh, <laughs> oh that's very close. I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> oh, TNT. Oh, oh. Scaffolding. Here it goes. Oh. Yay! Yay! Oh, did you, did you do it? <laughs> Look at wow. you. Oh, Ooh. high five right in the face. Yeah. Oh, high five. High total. five. Also, the, uh, the, the fireworks, they got a little bit destroyed, so I'm just going to pop them out. Doing myself. There we go. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, bravo. Bravo. Oh, that was Woo. amazing. Man. You're like a one man circus hearts. or something. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's still there's still one more to go. There's a one man one circus that sometimes dies, but we won't we mention yeah. anything about that. I have to inform <laughs> true, you that true. your scaffolding to the side here got kind of wrecked. Oh, that's fine. We oh, right. We can put it back. <laughs> Man, that was epic. You that survived. was epic. Oh, yeah, man. that was pretty impressive. Oh, wow. This stuff man, is like a, close to the... I'm pretty good hit by one of those TNT. <laughs> oh, did you? Cub, if you, if, you like, if you survive this challenge, then the, the only thing that killed you here was the person you invited. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. This final challenge involves, quite simply, one block, the cobweb, saving me in a fall from world height. Wow. That's all wow. there is. That's Amazing. all there is. And there's there's TNT with pressure plates on top surrounding the one block of cobweb. All right. But the main thing the main thing is just hit the cobweb. <laughs> that's, so that's and and thing. if you hit the cobweb off center, you really can't redirect yeah. yourself. You're still gonna hit that. You're gonna fall onto the pressure plate, right? Once he true. hits once he hits the cobweb, he's got like slow mode slight movement towards oh, the do middle. You? Okay. I think so. <laughs> yep. But either way, it's still going to be incredibly slow. impressive. Oh, man. No way. No way. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Look at him. I just see a little dot up there. I can't even see where I'm going to land. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, Blind gosh. jump from world height into a single block of cobble. Or not cobble. <laughs> cobweb. Here we go. I'm off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 potatoes down there. R.I.P. R.I.P. Well, now you know so you would have demised anyway. Yep, that's it right. You can't blame it on the Zuma yep. now. Can't blame it on the Zuma. Well, I guess uh, thank you to the dead team for showing, and uh, Tango, best of luck surviving <sighs> any longer. You disappoint me, Cub. <laughs> we now have the guy who made these traps, Tango. I'm just going to slowly back away from all this now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and we're back. We are back here at the Future Dragon Towers, and I want to show you what we did get started a little bit before we jump into more serious building of this amazing dragon here. Uh, so, what I'm my first goal here is I'm trying to basically spread the two towers here, the two the two circles. So you can see the the purple circle right there goes like this and kind of loops in here, and the blue circle I've already moved a little bit, but it moved and they overlapped here uh, in the middle. I need to spread it out so that the purple circle's kind of outer edge lines up with that, and the blue's purple edge, or the blue's outer edge lines up with that, and that's kind of what we're doing here. You can see we're kind of like pushing it out in a way, and these two circles then are going to basically become the necks of the dragon. Alrighty then, we are just about ready to start kind of building the raw structure of this dragon head here. Now, two things of note that are obviously ugly. The nether brick platform there is just so I can you know, not drop all the blocks down below so I can get underneath the jaw, things like that. Obviously, it's temporary. And the uh, andesite sphere that's kind of up top here, that's, uh, I, I used a different block color so I can easily see kind of how things are anchoring with the two jaws and things like that, and I can count blocks easier. Any of that that's still visible once the build is done will, uh, will definitely be, you know, swapped out with blue concrete or whatever is appropriate. Okay, here we go with a little time lapse of me building out the basic structure of this dragon head here. Now, my goals here are not to really detail too much of anything. I want to get the basic shape of, you know, the top jaw, the snout, uh, the eye shape and how that's going to inset with a little socket. Um, and then, of course, the bottom jaw and everything. We're not going to get the teeth or any 
block texturing or anything like that yet. Uh, I did start to make a make the whole thing symmetrical right there, and then I realized that's a joke because I'm just <laughs> I'm just changing way too much all the time here. So what we end up with in this clip actually is just half of a dragon head. So I do have to go back and mirror it still. Uh, right here you can see I'm working on the snout. It took me a while. I wanted to get that kind of right, not too big, not too small. I think I got it just about right. I mean, of course we're gonna be hanging teeth off that and everything, but I really didn't want this thing to look or feel like you know like a crocodile. You know, he's got this kind of a long snout dragon. So I wanted to make it feel like a dragon. Uh, right there you can see I'm kind of bringing in the brow, the tip of the eyes and stuff like that a little bit forward and you know, bring that shape in right there for where the eye is gonna go. Obviously a lot of that stuff eventually will be pulled out and we'll put some black in there and stuff like that. Again, all the reshaping. A Little bit of eye flare there in the back, which is not the horn. We're gonna add big giant horns on the back of this thing eventually. Um, but for now, that's what we're going with. I decided to cut out the eye, then I decided later on I didn't like the cutout and I decided to put it back in. You get the idea here. Um, at this point now, I think we're gonna start you know, bulking out the cheeks and stuff a little bit. The goal is to cover up all that andesite. You know, it, that sphere is just a guideline for us to build off of. I wanted most of that to be covered up there. So right here, you can see we're looking pretty good. It's time to add in a little bit more of the, the neck area, thicken that up a little bit and start bringing in the bottom jaw, which I think really is what, okay, makes you really, the whole build starts to sink in once you see this and it starts to get a scope of how big his mouth really is. Um, but there's the first pass of the jaw, bring it in with a little, like it's so the mouth is open a little bit, not too much, but enough for me to get some teeth in there. Um, after that, we just kind of, you know, bulk out the cheeks and the side of the skull a little bit more, and we're kind of wrapping it up here. Our neighbor is checking out our build. I got the approval. <laughs> yeah, she's like, it looks amazing. It's, oh, I'm so tired. It's, it's now 2.44 in the morning. I'm trying to wrap this up. So this is probably going to be a short episode. Oh, but, but, all right, we're going to get some teeth in here and we're going to do another little flyby and we're going to do the horns real quick. So the teeth are basically just going to be something like this, I think, with some randomness kind of snuck in here and there. Um, maybe like that. And then over here, you know, I honestly don't even know. I'm kind of like making this up. I don't even know why I'm using double slabs there. We'll do a couple fang teeth out in the front there, like maybe that and that and that. I think, and then I can help for a bit if you need it. Should be okay, but thanks. <laughs> Just need to do teeth and horns. Alrighty, so we're gonna do like that, we're gonna do like that, and I think, let's see. I don't want them all to be the same. We're probably gonna have to like come back and, and change some of this. Like, maybe this one is going that way. Maybe this one, let's see, we wanna have like, do I wanna carry the teeth across there? I don't know. <laughs> As you can tell, I didn't actually plan teeth out. We're just kind of winging it and seeing how it goes. Something like that? I can't really tell here. Let's see, let me use my super amazing scaffolding blocks. I mean, that might be good enough. Let's do some of the tops here and see. <laughs> my dragon has buck teeth. <laughs> we have an idiot stupid dragon. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried to make like fangs in the front and well, that didn't work out. These, these are just too, too tall or too long. Must fix. <laughs> All right. So we've done a ton of detail work here. We added in lapis as a secondary color block. Um, I mean, obviously we already had the wool in some cases. Uh, we added the lapis around the eyes and around the mouth and I'm, I'm intentionally not showing you just yet. I also decided to add a little lapis kind of like crest or something. I don't want to make it look too much like a horn or anything, but you know, some dragons kind of have that extra little, little thingy sticking out of the center of their head. But anyway, we're going to, we're going to, oh, I don't have a mommy. Hang on. I need, I need horn blocks. Ugh, I'm going to die. Shoot rockets. Okay, here we go. I want to make the, the horns be a little bit different. I was thinking of doing white, um, but instead I think I want to go with like this light blue here. And I got, I got them kind of stubbed in there in the back and we're going to, uh, let's see, how do I even want to do this? I think I want to do just like kind of random. So like maybe they go up and obviously out on an angle, but I'm not sure like to what level. Oh, we are so done here. And by so done, I mean, I'm done for the night. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm gonna tear out this nether brick here, and I think we're gonna call it done. We're obviously not done. We only got one dragon done. We were supposed to get two done, and I wanted to get the uh, the middle tower. Well, I'll explain. We'll do a little flyby in just a second. Let me dig this up. Here we go. Here we go for the reveal. Finally. I'd say I'm 90% happy with it. But anyways, I shortened up a lot of the uh, the chains for some of these lights that we talked about. By the way, I did that without mentioning it. And I think it does look a lot better. There's not any of those crazy long ones. But anyway, you're here for this guy. Mr. Dragon looking pretty good. I, if I do say so, I think, I think it turned out pretty good. Things I'm happy with. We'll say I'm very happy with the eyes. Very happy with the horns. Very happy with the kind of jaw. The bottom jaw, I think, is great. The top jaw looks a little bit systematic or pattern-based. I need to I need to tweak something there, I think. The nostril or the, the nose tip is great, I think. Um, things I'm not great with is, like, the shape of the mouth or something looks just a little bit weird, I think. Tell me if it's me or not. Guys, let me know. Like, give me, some, give me some details in the comments, guys. Like, hey, the... The eyes need work, or the mouth needs work, or, you know, we got, we got these, like, extra little, uh, you know, scales, like, on the side or something. Now, the plans are, there's obviously going to be another purple dragon on this side, and then this center tower, of course, is going to be raised up even more, just enough where you can kind of see it between the two tower, between the two dragons, I think, and the idea is that their horns may touch, and you got to, like, fly in through their horns or something, I'm not sure. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, overall, I'm super happy with this. It's not bad for my first dragon ever, I think. I think it kind of blends in with the tower pretty good. I might need to do a little bit of work there on the neck, but we're done. We're done, and I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Please, please, please let me know what you think about this dragon, and uh, if you have any ideas for how to improve it, I would love to hear it. And with that said, uh, next time we will, we will work on the other dragon. Or maybe go back and visit Boombox. I haven't forgot about that, guys. Don't worry. We're definitely going to get back to Boombox soon. But thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, I will see you later.